Number six on page 391. If a car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10 seconds, what distance does it travel in those 10 seconds? Assume the acceleration is constant and note that 60 miles per hour is 88 feet per second. So first of all, I'm just going to change it to the miles per hour to feet per second. So at, at t equals 0, we have 0 feet per second because that's how much we're starting at, our speed or velocity. And at v equals 10, we're at 60 miles an hour or 88 feet per second. And since acceleration is constant, I'm just going to calculate the slope or the change in v as my acceleration. So my acceleration then, I'm going to work this out. 88 feet per second minus 0 feet per second. So we go to from 0 to 88 feet per second in 10 seconds. And their acceleration works out. So I'm just going to write it over here. A of t equals 8.8 .8 feet per second per second. So second squared. Okay. So uh, what distance does it travel in those 10 seconds? Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to anti-differentiate this. So I want the v of t function. And I'm going to get my v of t is going to be the antiderivative function of the acceleration. So 8.8 .8 times dt. And so my v of t function, it works out to be 8.8t .8 plus our v initial. Okay, or plus c. And so I'm just going to plus plug in my plus c, v of 0 equals 0, so I get my v initial equals 0. So my v of t function is going to be 8.8t .8 plus 0. So that's my v of t. Now, if I want to find the distance, I'm going to assume that the distance is, is because the acceleration is my velocity is all positive, my distance is going to be the same as my displacement. So my distance then, or my change in d, is equal to the area under the curve from 0 to 10 seconds of my v of t graph, or 8.8 feet per second. 8.8, oops. Eight point eight t dt. Okay, so when I work this out, I'm going to end up with eight point eight. Sorry, it's going to be four point four t squared, and that's going to be from zero to ten. So it's going to be four hundred and forty minus zero, or four hundred and forty feet. So the answer is. E.